Hi everyone, my name is Erdo Gashi, Investment Manager at ETV. I am extremely excited that I'm going to be sharing with you in the next few minutes how we are scaling up ETV, how our community is scaling up, and how you can be part of it. I'll be showing to you specific examples how we are changing our business model. Due to COVID-19, we have to change. There is no rigid business plan for us, and hopefully you're taking this into account as well. So. In the next few minutes, I'll show you a few lessons we are learning and a few lessons we're implementing. But let's start from the beginning. So the key challenges that have been discussed today by the amazing panelists are actually the key challenges that are here, actually always have been here. The key challenges that we have encountered are access to finance, debt or equity, which one should I go? Should I be creative with my debt? What should I do? Second one, talent and skills. How do you get the right people in your business? But then how do you retain them? How do you retain them in difficult times like now? The third one, access to global markets. Now, Wool Summit has done an amazing job which is giving us access to people from different countries. I've been talking to people in the living room from a whole different country and a whole different time zone. Amazing. The right infrastructure is a challenge and the right leadership. Now, it doesn't really seem rocket science that the fact that these are our key challenges. But let's just look at the statistics. e is based in the UK. And the UK is renowned for its support it provides to startups. We are third in the world for our support to startups. But if you focus on scale-ups, we're 13th. So the moment we actually need the support, the moment we're scaling up and needing all the support, it seems like we are lacking providing support. And please let me know later on, if this is the case in your country as well. And this doesn't sit well with us. Um, we know that the SMEs account for 90% of all the businesses in the world. They employ 50% of all the people in the world. So this is why we exist, E to E, entrepreneurs to entrepreneurs. We aim to enable extraordinary entrepreneurship for you. Now, our mission is to become the entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial economic growth and provide this to our community of entrepreneurs. We do this by providing one platform where you can access finance, you can access information on talent and skills, marketing, and any business that you would need to succeed in your entrepreneurial lifetime. Now, a little bit more about E2E, and I'll explain to you why I'm showing you this. So the business has been founded by Shalini Kemka in 2011. And she founded the business because she had sold her first business who traded online letter of credits to a hedge fund. After a few years, she realized that she actually never really had the good support. She sold too early, sold for a lower price than actually was supposed to sell. So then with the help of her former honorary president, Sir Richard Branson, she set up e Our current chairman is Daryl Eels. Now, Daryl Eels is the ex-CEO of LDC, Lloyd's Development Capital, the business that is the most active mid-market private equity firm in the UK. Under his regime, they invested over 2.6 billion and personally invested over 60 businesses. Then we also have supporters like Peter Roberts, Hugh Chappell, Dushara, Duncan Benetine, known from Dragon's Den, and Jason Warren. So all entrepreneurs that are willing to give back to us and to the entrepreneurial community because they see that the lack of support is there. Now, what do we actually do? So e 2 is the leading connector for high growth businesses. We have a community of over 23,000 entrepreneurs and 3,000 investors. Our community contributes 230 billion to the UK economy and employs 1.15 million employees. And yes, this is focused on the UK, but this doesn't mean that we are focused on the UK. We focus on all over the world, but this is where we have a significant effect on the economy. We are sector agnostic. We don't specify any sectors that we look at because we realize that support should come in every sector, not just the sectors where we think most money can be earned on. But of course, there's some tendency for membership, um, for members to become more in the IT sector and the financial service sector. So what do we do and how have we changed this with COVID-19? So we actually started as an events business. We hosted physical events. 
Now you might probably agree with me that physical events right now is not the best business. Uh, we've seen the Wolf Summit, how they changed to the Wolf Summit Live. They've done an amazing job. Now we've added the pillars, non-exec platform and investment platform. And I'll explain to you later on what actually these services are and why we changed to this. So how did we use our connectivity to scale up? Now, we've heard all over the day, we heard that people want to cut costs, right? They want to cut costs on their daily expenses in which they don't think they should spend their money on. So we realized this and we saw that our community is cutting costs. So what we did is we communicated with every partner that we have and asked them if they could provide discounted services for community members. Now, I'll just run you through them. And if you're interested in this, in either providing membership benefits, let me know. If you would like to have the membership benefits, let me know as well. And lastly, if you want to know how to create this ecosystem of support of partners to get access to partners, send me a message as well. So our membership benefits include three months free co-working space with IWG. It includes 12 free visits on business lounges and airport lounges. No, of course, that's not the best benefit right now, which is why we obviously not focus on one benefit, but multiple. We have our digital services with DigitalOcean, where we provide one year of free cloud storage to every E2E member. With marketing, we help business on their marketing, one month free digital media from TechShoe. And the company we recently started working with, Freshworks, provided $10,000 credit for every member that signs up through us. Now, our pitch often to this co these companies is that we provide um, services to our entrepreneurs, but complementary. We help entrepreneurship and we help businesses grow. These businesses eventually become customers and these businesses affect the economy. They realize this, so they provide this kind of services. And obviously we have the other ones, which I didn't talk about, UBS, small firms, Pitchbook, Artesian, all providing help to these SMEs. Now, I told you we started as an events business, but we're now hosting the non-exec platform. So we see that businesses have problem and they have specific questions. Now, you can't answer every question just in one answer, right? You need your mentor. You need someone that you can be able to call at 2 a.m. with your question. And we know entrepreneurs don't work from nine to five, they work 24 seven. So we have three smaller pillars within the non-exact platform. We have flex mentoring. We'll be able to match with a mentor. You'll be able to ask him questions. We have NED recruitment. We'll be able to place maybe yourselves, serial entrepreneur on boards of businesses or help your business find an entrepreneur to be on your board. And then our newest business, or actually our newest line in the business is NED as SaaS or NetS, which is which works as follows. So obviously, if you would like to have Duncan Benetine as your advisor, it's gonna become quite costly. And especially because he doesn't have time to be your non-executive director for two years. So what we have done and what we are doing is that through our matching platform, you'll be able to connect with industry experts who want to give back, especially during these difficult times. The business was set up in 2011. Shalini Kemka built up the relations through all her career, knowing that at some point, people will start giving back. People won't start giving you something without you being able to provide them with value first, which is why we are so proud of our community. And this is the first lesson that I would like to share with you sustainable relationships. It's built on being fair-minded and being trustable, especially during these difficult times. Now, again, the awkward topic, but I really want to talk about events. We hosted physical events, 42 a year. We had amazing speakers with the last one being Rick, Nick Robertson, co-founder of ASOS. We had coming up Ty Roberts, co-founder of Grace Note. Amazing names. But the fact that COVID-19 came up doesn't mean that we're not gonna proceed with this. Just like Wolf Summit changed to an online platform, we are doing this as well. People won't stop giving their speeches or their talks to you just because 
they're not sending in front of the public. So every Tuesday now, we are hosting our E2E Live, which you can find the links on our social media. So second lesson here is creativity. We are entrepreneurs. We thrive on change and we want to have change. That's why we don't work in a corporate life. This is why we want to change the world and change all the offerings that are here. Now, the third uh, pillar, which might be quite interesting for most of you, is the investment platform we have, and which is mostly the pillar I work on. So, yes, we have a 50 million facility provided by institutional investors, and we introduce companies, exciting companies like the ones I've seen today, to these institutional investors. But because they have kind of strict criteria, it's sometimes hard to get funding for these companies. So what we've done, we opened up our investor community to all these companies so to be able to talk to these investors. And for us, it's not about finding just the money. Money can be found in many ways, especially here in London. There's a lot of dry powder. But for us, it's about finding the right investor, someone, again, you can talk to anytime and ask for advice. So as long as you're a founder, as long as you're an entrepreneur of a scale-up, we are happy to talk to you. Talk to us what your business challenge is and we'll figure it out. Now, as I said, um, one of the benefits of us, of being an E2B member, are all these discounts. So first of all, you need to create your support system and um, communicate with your partners what you're trying to do. And I said this on my panel already, and I would like to share this as, again. Every business right now is struggling. Don't hide your problems with all your uh, partners. Tell them what they are. My problem, you probably can solve. And your problem, I can solve. So collaborate with every connection that you have and try and come up with benefits, which something that can benefit both you and your partner. You keep your clients happy, they receive a customer after all this COVID-19 is over. So I talked about the membership benefits and I'll keep it on the slide again. Um, Obviously, becoming an E2E member, there are some requirements, uh, but I'm happy to share with you and actually announce that membership is complimentary. Um, if you're a founder of a scale-up, if you're a founder of a company that's trying to scale, any sector, any location, join us. Scan the QR code on your screen, go to our website, the link is here, go to our membership application form, fill it out, Call us, call us on our on our helpline. We have dedicate we have a, we have a dedicated helpline, which you can call anytime. Talk to us. What's your challenge? What can you offer us in terms of support? Or what can we offer you as well? And let's scale up together. Now, what is the main goal of all of this? What are we trying to actually achieve? Now, what we are trying to achieve is to improve someone's connectivity, to fast track your challenges and your processes. So if you're trying to talk, if you've been trying to talk to this investor for so long, you'll be coming to E2E, or you'll be trying to connect with someone else who will be trying to then connect you to that right person. We all be trying to give you a competitive edge. If you know your environment, if you know what the trend currently is, you'll be able to act on it way better. We we'll increase your exposure. E2E members right now, they're proud that they're an E2E member because people see that they actually attend conferences like this, they come to our events, we host events all over the UK, they travel just to speak to us, just to be able to catch a few of the lessons that we learn, and this is what we thrive on, and this is what we'd like to share with you as well. Ecosystem of support. A lot of businesses um, provide different services next to their main sort of activity. As I said, our main activity was events, but we thought, well, an entrepreneur needs more. We need to act on all the challenges that they have. And if you're able to provide this ecosystem of support, you'll be able to improve your client relationships, which is the next one, which is obviously the most important thing right now. The change that we've made in our business is next to the, the helpline, next to the E3 Live, is that we've actually decided to call everyone that we have met throughout the years. So this includes 23,000 entrepreneurs. And this is not a difficult conversation with them. It's simply asking, what is your challenge right now? How can we help? How can you help? Let's do it together. 
We all have problems right now. We should recognize it. We should be transparent about it. And we should try and solve it together. Because in the end, we all want increased valuation. And that's, that's what you can do together and not on your own, especially during these difficult times. So what are the lessons throughout this whole presentation? What are the lessons that I've learned? And what are the lessons that E2 has learned? First one, flexibility. My title was investment manager. I focus more on the investment side, but right now it's helping about entrepreneurs. I call with them. I meet with, well, meet with them uh, online and ask them what their challenges are. And I try and help them on several different ways. The second one is provide support. Even though it's not your forte to provide X and Y, you should try and help your corporate partners, try and help your entrepreneurs, your clients, everyone that is linked with you. And then the last one, which is the lesson I learned yesterday from actually our CEO and founder, Shalini, who said, these times, these are difficult times. And these times are not going to show whether you're a good businessman or a businesswoman. These times are going to show whether you're, what kind of type of person you are. Are you the type of person that's going to just block everyone and work on itself? Or are you the person that's going to call everyone and ask what the, what the problem is and try and arrange solutions? And I think that's what we all are in it for. We're all trying to scale up with extraordinary connections. So if you have any questions, if you have any challenges, please go to our website, e2exchange.com. Either send me an email or connect with me on LinkedIn or whatever. But most important, make the most of Wolf Summit. There's a lot of cool functionalities on here, the matchmaking app and the networking. Try and make as much use of it as possible because this is why we're entrepreneurs and this is why we want to help each other. Thank you very much. And thank you to Michael for inviting me to this.